Hello friends, today we are going to learn a program of multiplication of two 8-bit numbers and program says that multiply two 8-bit numbers stored at memory location 2200H and 2201H by repetitive addition. Now what is repetitive addition? See in 8085 there is no direct instruction for multiplication. So we know that 5 into 2 is 10 but instead of doing that we will perform repetitive addition means we will add second number first number of times so what we will do 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so we will perform addition of second number first number of time first number was 5 so we added to 5 number of times so this answer is going to be 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 2 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 2 10 so this answer is going to be 10 but in hexadecimal format 10 is a therefore in hexadecimal this answer is going to be 0 a h and this method is called as repetitive addition so what we will do we will set first number as a counter and we will add second number counter number of times we will add second number counter number of times and at the end we will store the result in memory location 2300 and 2301H where 2300 will hold 0AH. Okay, this answer is going to be 0AH. And this is our sum. And in this multiplication, carry is not generated. That's why on 2301 we will store 00 because carry was not generated. And this is our carry now what we will do we will keep accumulator to store the value of sum and we will keep d register to store the value of carry so let's write program for it so before execution 2200 was 05 and 2201 was 02 so we will clear the accumulator by writing xra a xra a will xor accumulator with accumulator and when with xor same binary inputs output becomes zero therefore because of this instruction our accumulator is going to be 00 h now why we are making accumulator zero because we want our sum inside the accumulator then we will move accumulator value inside the d register and we will make d also zero again we want to store our carry inside the d register that's why we are making it zero now our first number is on 2200H. That's why we will point that memory location by writing LXH, LXI, H, comma 2200H. LXI stands for load register pair immediate. So which register pair? HL pair. So we will transfer 2200H on HL register pair. So we initialize the memory location. Now what we will do? We will move the value of m inside the c m stand for memory so it is nothing but we are transferring content of content of hl inside the c register now what is content of hl over here 2200 and what was its content 05 so 05 will get copied inside the c register so after execution of this instruction C register is going to be 0 5. So we set our counter. Now our next number is on 2201H. But initially we have pointed 2200. That's why from 2200 we want to go to 2201. That's why we will increment register pair by 1. INX stands for increment register pair HL. So now new value of HL pair will be the incremented value and it will become. 2201 H. Now, because of add M, what will happen? The content of content of HL will get added inside the accumulator and answer gets stored inside the accumulator. Now, let's check what was previous value of accumulator. So, previously, accumulator was 00, 0 and the content of HL is 2201 H and its content is 0 to H. So, 0, 0 H plus 0 to h will happen and we will get our answer is equal to 0 to h so we performed first addition now we will check whether after this addition carry is generated or not 
and for that we wrote instruction jnc jnc stand for jump if no carry if carry is not generated then skip this part which part we will not increment d every time when carry is generated we will continuously increment d and in this addition carry is not generated that's why this instruction will not get executed and we will skip this part and we will come over here and we will decrement our counter by one initially our counter was 0 5 now we will make our counter c is equal to 0 4 h now we will continuously check whether counter has become 0 or not by writing instruction jnz back jnz stand for jump if no 0 if this counter is not not 0 then go back and we will where we will go back we will go back to perform repetitive addition so we are going back and again performing addition so how many times we will perform addition five number of times so at particular amount of time our counter will become 0 and we will come out of this loop and we know that now d register is holding our carry value and accumulator is holding our sum value so finally we will store our sum on 2300h spa means store the value of accumulator on 2300h therefore on 2300h we will get the value of sum because accumulator was holding sum and d register was holding carry that we will transfer inside the accumulator because we cannot directly store d register okay so spa 2301 because of this what will happen the content of accumulator will get copied on 2301 therefore on 2301 we will get the value of carry and therefore here we successfully stored sum and carry and therefore we will terminate our program by writing HLT instruction. Thank you.